from MetsMiners.net. Headline, Jet Williams named top prospect in BP Mets top 10. And before we get into this video, I need you to hit that subscribe button. So all I need you to do, hit that subscribe button. You'll find, you'll know about everything that's going on in the Mets organization, top to bottom. But specifically with their prospects and, of course, with their minor leaguers. So here we go. As the calendar year comes to a close, Baseball Prospectus has released their final top 10 rankings for the New York Mets organization. As seen, the rankings heavily feature players recently added to the organization. Number one, shortstop center fielder Jet Williams, outfielder Drew Gilbert, second baseman shortstop Luis Angel Cunha, first baseman outfielder Ryan Clifford, right-handed pitcher Christian Scott, infielder Marco Vargas, shortstop Jeremy Rodriguez, infielder Ronnie Mauricio, Infielder, Colin Houck, and right-handed pitcher, Mike Vassell. Based on these rankings, former general manager Billy Apple truly transformed the Mets' minor league system at the trade deadline. In fact, half the top 10 were acquired via trade. When including Houck, 60% of the Mets' top 10 were added after June 1st. It's a major talent infusion in a short period of time. Another element was the Mets' promotions of top prospects, both Francisco Alvarez and Brett Beatty graduated from prospect status over the past season. Baseball prospectors considered them not to be not just the top Mets prospects, but also two of the top prospects in the game. Even the recent infusion and graduations, it should be noted the next wave of prospects to, to the majors is not far away. We saw Williams, Gilbert, Acuna, Scott, and Vassell finish the year in double A. The Binghamton Roman Ponies team would upset the Somerset Patriots in the playoffs before losing in the championship series. Most of those players will begin the year with Triple A Syracuse, with all of them being candidates to take to, take to make them <clears throat> to make their major league debut in 2024 or 2025. <clears throat> we saw Mauricio finish the 23 season in the majors. He showed promise, having the Mets' hardest hit ball of the season in his first Major League plate appearance. Unfortunately, he'll miss the 2024 season with an ACL tear. Standing above all the prospects is Jeff Williams. This is what they had to say about him. Quote, Man, if you were six foot two, you'd be a top five draft pick. Scout once told Williams, and they were probably right. As he stands at five foot eight, he was drafted 14 overall instead but his downs have only made the chip on his shoulder, and his work ethic bigger. Williams has good play discipline and ball-to-ball -ball skills and speed to stick a sh at shortstop, though his arm strength remains an open question. When Steve Cohen purchased the Mets, he talked to building a sustainable winner. With top former top prospects and the majors and this group soon to follow, it appears he's well on his way toward accomplishing this goal. Now, uh, as you know, if you don't know, the best way to have sustainability as an organization in terms of winning all the time is having a strong foundation. And the best strong foundation is to have a strong farm system producing players on a regular basis. And obviously, uh, the Mets are doing their darndest to produce a strong foundation from which they can produce players and bring them up to the majors and be productive uh, players either on playing in the field or on the mound. So you let me know what you think about this video. Of course, hit that subscribe button so you can find out everything that's going on in the Mets front office, everything that's going on with the, with the prospects, everything that's going on with their uh, minor league system. And this is the channel you want to watch. This is the channel you want to follow. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you later.